After much preparation, we are finally on the trail that will hopefully take us to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro. The first day and a half of our journey will be through this lush, thick mountain forest. It may be one of the wettest parts of the mountain, but it contains an amazing variety of unique plants and animals. It's an otherworldly environment filled with ferns and mosses and enormous trees draped in bearded lichens. In the 19th century, Kilimanjaro was a key destination for botanists and plant collectors from all over the world. Several species, like the impatient Kilimanjaro, cannot be found anywhere else on Earth. Leading our climb will be our guide, Simon Tui. Born on the mountain slopes, he's right at home here and he knows almost every inch of this mountain. He also happens to be a former world record holder for the fastest unsupported ascent of Kilimanjaro. This mountain I means so much to me. Uh, it's a mountain that I've seen it, I've playing around it, I've climbed it. I've seen people from all different backgrounds come and climb the mountain. So I'm just sort of very inspired to be uh, one of the child to be playing around as my playground. The question will come quite often, um, do I feel tired of seeing the same things? Obviously that's not the case. This is the mountain every time you can see in a different face. And every time I will have a different story to tell. As the day draws to an end, the team are still on the trail. The density of the forest and the humidity have a sapping effect on energy and morale. I, for one, am getting tired and our camp is still a way ahead. This is day one. We finished a two-ish hour trek from where we started through some beautiful, absolutely beautiful forest. Um, steep hills though, my ankles are practically numb, um, feels like there's a whole bunch of ants that decided to crawl up my thighs and just, you know, nibble on them. But by morning that should all be gone. In terms of expectations versus what actually I experienced, this is interesting. Um, this is totally new for me, I've never gone camping before, um, never done any extended trail hiking on this scale before, and it's been fun. It's more of a mental thing um, than an actual physical problem. If you put your mind to it and you can actually execute it and you believe you can and you push yourself towards that, anything is possible. Early morning in the forests of Kilimanjaro is a magical time. As the sunlight clears the mist away, our journey up Africa's highest mountain continues. First night ever for me under canvas was pretty interesting. I mean, you look at these tiny little tents, you don't think a lot can be done with them, but they're actually quite comfy once you sort it out. Blanket, uh, thermal blanket to that, decent mattress, nice cozy little sleeping bag, job done. You'll be out before you know it. Today's climb will be a very intense one. As a crow flies, you're going to cover about 8 to 10 kilometers, which isn't a lot, if the ground is flat. The problem is today, we're going to be gaining about 700 meters in altitude in one day. Normally, it's recommended that you do, do not do more than 300. And we're going to try and push ourselves to actually double that and exceed it quite a bit. Um, I do hope my legs are up for it, but we'll see. As we leave the forest behind, we emerge to some spectacular views of the surrounding landscape and a sudden change in weather.
it's absolutely bucketing down. But the good news is, despite being wet and all the challenges that poses for shooting in this absolutely torrential rain, uh, we have more or less cleared the forest. Now we're entering the moorland, uh, stage two as far as vegetation is concerned on the mountain. But this isn't time to celebrate. The Shira Plateau is still ahead of us. We've still got a lot of ground to cover. Roughly 500 meters of elevation from where we are. And after that, and only when that's covered, can we finally get to our camp for the night. Camp is the only shelter for miles around, so we must push on. The landscape is bleak and the going extremely tough. My legs are gone. Um, my, yeah, generally that's it, exhausted. And we still have a lot more to go. Eventually, we crest the Shira Ridge and are rewarded with our first views of the Shira Plateau and hiding in the cloud, the snow-capped peak of the mountain. Our camp is also in view and a final effort gets us to shelter and rest. We're barely into our climb, but have got more of an idea of what to expect now. We have a long trail ahead with two more climatic zones to cross before we even think about reaching the top. As Simon, our guide, said, the mountain has many faces. I'm hoping she looks down on us favorably.